Hi, my name is Donna Alexander and I work with LinkedIn. I hear you've just created a fantastic LinkedIn profile, so now I'm here to help you or your youth clients help to further engage on the LinkedIn network. We're going to look at how you can start to build a network as well as start to make connections and even take a look at the jobs process on LinkedIn. When it comes to building your LinkedIn network, you want to think about the people that you already know. One of the great things about LinkedIn is the search capability. With over 500 million members on the LinkedIn network, it can be a little bit daunting when it comes to finding the people that you're looking for. Now up at the top of your LinkedIn homepage is that search bar, and that's going to give you all kinds of power. If you know the name of the person that you're trying to find, just type it into the search bar and you'll be able to see that list of results that matches who you're targeting. If you're thinking more about a target company, maybe that you want to learn more about, same thing, type it into the search bar and then you can learn more about that organization right from their company page. You also have the ability to start looking for information on industries. So it's a great way to start to learn more about target industries that you want to get into. When it comes to sending your LinkedIn connection request invitations, you do want to make sure that they're always personalized. So you want to reference perhaps the event where you met someone, maybe why you want to connect with them. If it's somebody in a career that you admire, put that in your connection request so that your message stands out and that person knows why you want to engage with them on LinkedIn. Ultimately, it's all about your network. So you need to make sure that you are nurturing that network every day. You want to make sure that you're reaching out and sending a congratulations if somebody has a work anniversary or a birthday. But you can also let them know that you read an article that's been shared. It's an efficient way to show people that you're paying attention and that you care. Before we move to jobs, you want to remember why networking is so very important. It will help you be updated on what's happening in the industry. You can learn about people's job changes, which will then help you to frame your own LinkedIn profile, but it also gives you some insight into what's happening in the world of work. And we know that knowledge is power, so being active on LinkedIn will help you continue to use that knowledge to your benefit to get the jobs you need to succeed. One of the primary ways that people use LinkedIn search is to find jobs. So let's take a look at how either you or your youth clients can start to find new job opportunities using the LinkedIn network. Now, when we think about search, we've already looked at how we can start targeting people, companies, or industries. Let's use the jobs tab from the homepage and look at the jobs experience there. You're able to start to filter your search down by title. You can start to look by location. Um, one of our suggestions would be to start to filter jobs out by your experience level as well as by your location. When it comes to searching for jobs, one of the things that you do want to have a good understanding of is who's hiring. And that's again where our search will help you to learn more about the market landscape. You'll be able to see which jobs are available, learn more about those jobs through the descriptions, and those job descriptions are really, really key when it comes to you learning more about organizations. You learn not only more about the job itself and what the responsibilities of your role will be, but you will also learn more about the company's culture, which is going to be key because we know that our organizations are hiring more and more for culture fit. You'll also have the ability to learn more about the people who work there. LinkedIn is using the power of search to help tell you if you know somebody in that organization or even someone who could refer you to the recruiter to start you on your journey towards that next opportunity. Finally, you do want to make sure that you apply to the role. And that's where that job description really comes in handy. So make sure you've taken a look at the job description and that your LinkedIn profile matches the skills and experience that that job is looking for. One tip, with the LinkedIn job search, you also have the ability to set alerts. 
And those search alerts will remind you of new jobs that match the searches that you actually input. So if a new opportunity comes up in the field that you're targeting, then LinkedIn will send you alert reminding you to apply for the job. It's a great way to keep on top of the industry and make sure that no jobs pass you by. You want to ensure that you are there, that you're top of mind, and that you're engaging with people who can start to create job opportunities for you. So remember, that's where we're going back to you nurturing that network because we know that about 85% of new jobs are sourced through referrals. So make sure you're connecting with people who are going to be able to help you get those new opportunities. Good luck.